Hey everybody, welcome to this two minute techie tip. With technology, we know that we can remove the limitations of the traditional classroom and teach and learn in ways that were previously inconceivable. So let's get to it and just do a basic overview of um, the Explain Everything app. Um, it really is super powerful um, and um, but not complicated. Um, it has basic functionality, but once you kind of start to think about the possibilities and the potential, it really, it's a game changer. It's truly transformative for learning in the classroom. So if I start over here and I look at my tools, if I start at the top, my hand or my finger, if I tap on that, if I select that tool, that will tell me that I can select an object. So when I have my finger selected, that means I can move any of the objects, text or image or square um, that I have. Um, pretty self-explanatory that the pencil tool is allows me to, to draw. If I hold my finger down on the iPad, um, uh, tool here and hold down on this pencil icon I can change the width the the tip style and the width of the pencil so then I get something um, larger um, color choices are available down here so of course any color is available um, I selected a theme um, for this template that lets me um, uh, gives me kind of a white background and a couple of choices so it, it helps with the overwhelming possibilities of all of these colors. So um, I have all sorts of options with my uh, drawing and writing applications. Um, shapes are available with this tool so if I want a circle I select the um, tool menu here and then I can uh, make any of these um, objects appear. So I tap off of it and then I can just squiggle and make any kind of a shape that I might want. And then of course I can change it. I tap the blue to change it to a blue star. Um, my finger, my selection tool here, lets me um, move and um, change any of these uh, objects, locations. I can also pinch um, pinch these objects and make them bigger, smaller as I'm working. Um, the A tool is um, great for adding text. So I just tap the tool and tap on my white screen and I've got my text here, my green arrow. When I tap the green arrow that says you're good to go and I can move on. Um, a super powerful object um, tool option for explain everything is this plus button. Uh, whenever I see a plus button in an app it tells me that I can add things so photos and videos. I can import files which is super helpful. Um, there's another video about if I want to turn my already created notebook files or PDFs or Google Docs or Word documents or anything into a digital content. Bring it in to explain everything. I can do that. I can open up browsers. I can take a picture within explain everything. Take a video or import sounds. Super powerful. Lots of potential. Um, my X tool is my delete button. So if I decide I want to delete this text, I tap the X and then I can get rid of that. Um, we're going to, for this tool, this is a pres presenter or presentation tool. We're going to go to the next screen and I'm just going to demonstrate. Um, Explain Everything uses slides, so think PowerPoint or think different slideshows. So it's showing me that I have three slides in this demo. Um, if I tap here, it'll show me that I have these three um, slides ready to go. I can reorder if I click and drag on these, so you're really never you can never not undo oh, a lot of double negatives sorry about that you can always change anything that you that you um, create my plus 
button here will let me add a slide and then my arrows navigate uh, back and forth. Um, so my presentation tool, all sorts of options with fluency. So here's a demo. I recorded um, my voice. So Explain Everything also records audio and lets me narrate and annotate. So any movement will also be recorded. I'm just going to click the play button so you can see um, I selected the finger tool, but for fluency or reading, you can see what this is going to look like. I'm just going to click the play button. I probably didn't have volume turned up, so you might not have heard it, but I just read this sentence. And then you can see what this narration tool, uh, presentation tool would look like. So you can have students uh, point to objects or demonstrate what is happening with a science experiment or whatever. Um, we are going to go to uh, the next slide, and I, if I'm going to add text, and I'm going to say these are amazing educators. Oh, how about spell that correctly? Um, all right, and please notice when I am typing, I do get centering tools. I can make anything happen here, um, and I'm going to click off of that, and if I want it to be red, I just tap my color option. Um, I also, let's actually make that white just so I can demonstrate um, how this is going to look. Um, I have object... Um, options here. So my I tool here is information and it's information on um, different objects. So if I say that my image here is one object and my text block here is another object, I might want to order these so that one is on top of the other. That might happen just naturally, but look at what would happen if I arrange this and I move it to the back. So if I send that to the back, if, if you wanted to, hold on, let's try that again, and arrange and send backwards, I've lost it. So I might want to put text over an image and for you to know how to make that happen, you have the information tool and this can select different images. This is great for putting text onto student photos or um, uh, images that you've collected so that here I have text and then if I go up here to different presentation tools I can demonstrate that yep I have um, I'm pointing to these people or this portion of the map or science experiment. I can also, obviously, I can also, if I use my pen, um, make annotations. And I want to change that to blue so that I can draw and circle um, anything that I'm talking about with the map or science experiment or image or photograph. Um, so all sorts of formative and summative assessment ideas with these tools. Um, Edit undo is my back button, so my last um, annotation would be reversed. I can bring that back. Um, this little guy just lets me hide some of my controls so that I'm a little simpler. Um, but powerful stuff with Explain Everything. Um, we talked about the slideshow order and, and slide presentations. My um, audio tools are here. I just tap the red button to record my voice. This will show that I'm recording and let me look at, at my time. Um, my objects here, um, here I can export my images to different tools, um, lots of functionality. Here I can, when I'm done with my Explain Everything, get that right onto YouTube so that I can share with uh, the world. And also then here I can save my project. Um, I will rename that as Demo, save it, and 
I, if I go to my house, my home, um, that says that right here is my demo project, and I can get back into that. Um, one other just um, point here, under my home button, I'm going to just say yes, I'm saving that, save that again, and I'm going to overwrite it. This will come up for students that, yes, you want to overwrite it. On my home screen, these are all the projects that I've created recently. I'm going to tap the gear button. With iPad apps, I always want to figure out this gear button. This does come up on occasion. It gives me all sorts of options. My account button is the what I need to pay attention to with uploading to YouTube. So I want to make sure that that's turned on. And then that will say, oh, okay, what YouTube channel do you want to connect to? This can be helpful for, for students um, that how they can figure out how to publish work um, just on their own um, or to, you know, other, other accounts if you're using Vimeo or to Google Drive um, or even, yeah, to your Google Drive, Evernote or Dropbox. All right, that's all I've got. Uh, technology gives us the potential to communicate, collaborate, create, and think critically, and that's what learning is all about. Thanks for listening.